Good evening, Oaks beloved family, all over the place, wherever you are. Welcome back to my prayer closet for our evening devotional, Jesus Calling. Hope you've had a wonderful Saturday. And it's raining and storming here again. Hope we get all of that done, get it all out of the way, so that tomorrow is a great morning, rain-free morning. We've got two 10 by 20 pop-ups staked down out there in the parking lot. Those are first come, first serve tomorrow. If you'd like to get, get one of those, especially second service. Get a little shade, helps a little bit. So we just decided to put them up. And uh, uh, one of them actually is from Victoria, United Methodist Church. They didn't let, it told us we could use it. So we went and got it, put it up. And, and one of mine is my redneck garage. <laughs> so I put it up too. Why not? And anyway, so back to what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, I hope you had a great day. I hope you had a great Saturday. A little bit hot out there, uh, but uh, every day is a great day. When you know Jesus, you live for Jesus, you love Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hope you enjoyed Ephesians 6 today. Uh, Dean and I just finishing out uh, him doing uh, 4 and 5, and then I got to do 6 today. That armor of God. Uh, just and stand firm, stand firm, stand firm. That's what I really remember, I guess, as most, much as anything when it comes to the armor of God and just to holding your ground and being ready for the and the, and the sword, uh, not necessarily to charge with, but the sword is to stop the schemes of the devil when he gets too close to you. Pew, bang, just give him a run him through right through the guts. The guts, yeah. Anyway, let's get in the Word. Well, actually, it's not the Word. It's Jesus calling. But there are two verses that are the Word. Uh, so, I love those probably as much as, or as much as a reading, really. Anyway, one of them is Psalm 143. It's from David. A David psalm. And David just has so many beautiful, beautiful psalms. little piece of it here, verse 8. Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I lift up my soul. I love that because David a few times talks about meditating on the Lord even in his sleep. And here he's talking about in the morning, bring me word of your unfailing love. So when he wakes up, uh, just to wake up and be able to praise God first thing. Thank you, your unfailing love through my sleep, even through the night. I ah, pray for that for all of us, especially as the night comes along here, the evening, the day is winding down. Uh, just preparing to sleep in him and experience, wake in the morning to his unfailing love once again. Amen. Put your trust in him. Genesis 28 and 15. You've got to have some background on this one rather than just read the verse. This is Jacob. Jacob is taking off, uh, fleeing uh, from Esau. Remember, he lays down. It's a funny, kind of funny passage. He puts some rocks together and rests his head on rocks. Now, how's that for sleeping? Uh, anyway, apparently, well, he does sleep because he has a dream. And this is where he has the, uh, Jacob's ladder dream uh, and the famous dream. But in that dream, uh, uh, right after that dream, here's what it says. I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go. And I will bring you back to this land. I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. Oh, brothers and sisters, let that just sink in. Receive it. Remember from Ephesians, we are heirs all the promises that the Jews had. Christ has broken down all the bears. We are heirs to his fullness. This is ours too. Wherever you go, I will bring you back. I'll not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. And, uh, you know, I probably told you the last words I shared with my cousin Doug. Uh, last thing I said to him before I hung up a year ago when his, with his cancer diagnosis, I said, Doug, we all got to remember uh, that we're invincible. 
until God's purposes for us are completed. He said, Amen, my brother, and off he went back to Indonesia. Uh, he will not leave us until I have done what I have promised you. Just receive that. Be blessed in it. Now, let's read the... This is uh, Jesus speaking to us as Sarah Young uh, kind of sees it or writes it down, articulates it. I don't know what word we want to use there. Rest with me a while. This will be your best sleep. Your best sleep will be when you lay down and put the pillow on your head on the pillow and just say, Jesus, come rest with me right now. You will be surprised how he will come and lead you into sweet and deep sleep. He's very faithful to do that. Hallelujah. You have journeyed up a steep, rugged path in recent days. I think every one of us can say amen to that. All of us dealing with new things, different things, with the pandemic, uh, with parents. number of us have parents, in-laws locked up in assisted facilities because of just the, the rampant uh, devastation that COVID-19 has in those places. Um, and what a dreadful way to go, isolated from your family, uh, unable to breathe, fever, especially dreadful for the elderly. Uh, but we've all been through this in all kind of ways. I have been through it, certainly as a pastor. I've journeyed up, really, what I, a steep, rugged path in recent days just... You know, it has not been easy. I know it hasn't been easy for you. It hasn't been easy for any of you these days. The way ahead is shrouded in uncertainty, and it is. And uh, let's just stay on the COVID-19 uh, thing. I read uh, two weeks ago about a church in Oregon, and I'm reading everything I can get my hands on. 236 cases of COVID-19, three of them in the hospital. I haven't got... The update, which is pretty good out of 236 of them, uh, but, you know, they weren't being careful, and it and they got in the midst of a super spreading event, I guess, and uh, singing and all that can do that in a church, and so now they're dealing with that in, uh, in Oregon. I don't want that, uh, so we just have to, how do we work through that, this shrouded in uncertainty time? And I know we've been so blessed in Knox County. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, but Rock Island County and Scott County, up north of us, they're not so uh, protect. They've had some uh, big spikes. Look neither behind you nor before you, which we try to do all the time, don't we? Oh, I've got to look in the back. Oh, I screwed that up or oh, la, la, whatever. Oh, here's what's coming ahead. No, no, don't. This is good. Uh, instead, focus your attention on me, your constant companion. Never forget who's with you. Again, who's holding your hand? How many times have we thought about that? She doesn't say that uh, for Jesus, but but I, you know, just your constant companion, your hand in His hand. Trust that I will equip you fully for whatever awaits you on your journey. I'm trusting Him. I pray you're trusting Him. Uh, as you journey, as we all journey, we all have our journeys with him. And some places we intersect and they're common, but other places where, we, you know, we got to do this kind of ourself or maybe with just per certain immediate family members, whatever the situation. And there's all kinds of them. Some of them are really tough. Uh, trust that he'll equip you for whatever awaits you on your journey. Just rest in that. I designed time to be a protection for you. You couldn't bear to see all your life at once, could you? I don't think so. Uh, sometimes I wonder, well, you don't know. Praise God you don't, but think, wow, if I knew everything that this was going to involve, I'm not sure I would do that. I'm not sure I would go that direction, right? And all of us are getting old. Boy, luckily we don't see ahead with what the getting old part is about. Uh, all of a sudden, you know, my joints don't work like they used to. You know, I took down some trees here at the house. I, I'm, sh I'm shot. I, I worked on those for three or four days, carrying trees, stumps, logs. 
pile and brush and all of a sudden about three days later I'm done now when I was younger I could do that every day seven days a week I could do it I can't anymore and just getting old you know you just assume not look at what's it gonna be like in another 10 and then another 20 no don't don't go there I'm not gonna go there you don't go there either okay though I am unlimited by time it is in the present moment that I meet you right now 7 12 p.m. June 27th right now let him be with you his omnipresence he's present everywhere with every one of us right now thank you Jesus refresh yourself in my company while you do that right now just yourself fresh yourself in his company I like this next line breathing deep drafts of my presence one of my favorite things to do every morning right here at my prayer altar is just to just to, to put my arms out and just take deep breaths in Jesus. Just deep ones. Calms me, quiets me. I'll do it tonight as well, uh, right before I go to bed. Do that. Just take in some deep drafts of his presence. Now, I'm not just saying some kind of uh, new age meditation. I'm talking about Jesus. I'm talking about the spirit of Jesus. Letting it in. Taking deep drafts of Jesus. The spirit of Jesus. The highest level of trust is to enjoy me moment by moment. Dean and I had a meeting this morning. And uh, he's doing a course for credit and seminary. And I'm his mentor and he's my mentee and so it's we're, you know, we reflect on some certain areas and goals that he has set for the class and for uh, working at the Oaks and uh, just different other reflections that he has to have and just over uh, several times and I, and I got on this this idea of enjoying your life with God above all things uh, it can't it, it the job can't be the main thing. Life in Jesus has to be the main thing, Dean, and to all of you. You must order your life, Dallas Willard, so that you find your deepest contentment, joy, and confidence in Jesus Christ, in your life with him every day. And that's what I'm told Dean You've got to find that. What is that? What contributes to that where you find your deepest contentment, joy, and confidence in your everyday life with Jesus? That's what we're after. That's what you're after. That's what I'm after. And I just pray that you find it. I pray that some of the things we're doing live stream are helping you uh, discern what are the things maybe in this that... that that helped me get there. My joy, confidence, and contentment in Jesus Christ. Oh, I pray that you get there. Enjoy him moment by moment. I am with you, watching over you, wherever you go. Truly, brothers and sisters, he truly has been with you. Amen. Can you say that? He truly is with you right now. Can you say that? Amen. Has he ever failed a promise? Never has. Will he be with you uh, as you journey forward? Amen. I pray we all can say amen. Remember the very last words recorded in Matthew's gospel from Jesus? Lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Wow. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Your presence with me right now in my little prayer corner your presence with everybody on our live stream right now Jesus and there's plenty of breath you have plenty of breath for each and every one of us to breathe in deep drafts of your spirit your presence come Lord Jesus be present with us we receive your promise that you're with us that you'll never leave us or forsake us.
the end of the age. Hallelujah. Thank you. Give us sweet and deep sleep tonight as we just rest, kind of go forward the rest of this evening. Lord, prepare us for deep sleep and just invite you, Jesus, to, to come be especially present with us as we rest. In your beautiful name we pray, Jesus. Amen and amen. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Have a wonderful evening. Look forward uh, to worship in the morning. Let's pray for no rain. Amen. Love y'all.